Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to make some delicious pambanzos. In case you guys want to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for this recipe we're going to need 60 ounces of chorizo, 4 medium potatoes peeled and cut into small cubes, your choice of bread, 15 new Mexico or Guajillo chili pots, a quarter of an onion, a quarter of an onion chopped, one jalapeno chopped, one Roma tomato chopped, two garlic cloves, half a teaspoon of oregano, a quarter teaspoon of cumin, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and salt. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. All right guys, so first we're going to start by making a red chile sauce. So we're going to remove the seeds and the stem from our chiles, and we're going to rinse them and place them in a small pot. We're going to cover them with water. And now we're going to place them on our stove. We're going to set it on high heat and we're just going to wait for our chiles to come to a boil. All right guys, so once our chiles come to a boil, we're going to turn it off and we're going to remove our chiles from the water and transfer them into the blender cup. All right, so in our blender cup, we're going to add a quarter of an onion, our two garlic cloves, our oregano, cumin, and black pepper, along with some salt, and we're going to blend it with one cup of water. So now just blend it all together until we have a smooth sauce. All right, so once we have our red chili sauce, now we're going to heat it up. Okay, so now we're going to grab a small frying pan, we're going to set it on medium heat, and we're going to transfer our sauce. Careful. Into your blender, add about a half a cup of water, just so you can get the remaining sauce. And of course, strain your sauce if you need to. All right, so now we're just going to let our sauce simmer for five minutes. And just make sure that you're moving it around so like that, it doesn't pop everywhere. All right guys, so after five minutes, try your sauce. See if it needs any salt, and if it does, right now is the perfect time to add it. Just mix it one more time. And now just turn it off and set it to the side. All right, so now we're going to work on our filling. So I'm going to grab a medium um, pot. We're going to set it on medium high heat. And we're just going to add our potatoes with water. So we're just going to wait for them to come to a boil and then we can move on. All right guys, so once our potatoes come to a boil, we're going to add a little bit of salt. And now we're just going to let them boil for five minutes or until our potatoes are soft. All right, so after five minutes, your potatoes should be soft. So now we're going to drain them from the water. Once you drain your potatoes, set them to the side. And we're going to grab another medium frying pan. We're going to add a little bit of oil and we're going to set it on medium high heat. All right, so once our oil is hot, we're going to add our onion, jalapeno, and Roma tomato. And we're going to cook them for a couple minutes. All right, so after a couple minutes, we're going to add our chorizo. We're going to break it down and cook it for another couple minutes. I guess after a couple minutes and once we have broken down our chorizo, we're going to add our potatoes. And so now I'm going to add a little bit of the red chili sauce. That's all optional. So now we're just going to mix it together and let that cook for about two to three minutes. So after a couple minutes, check your potatoes and make sure that they're fully cooked. So now they're, everything's ready, so you can try it for salt and if you need any, just add it. So now it's ready, so we're going to set it to the side and work on our pambazos. Okay, so now we're going to grab our bread and we're going to open it in half. So we're also going to grab our comal. We're going to set it on medium heat and we're going to add oil. So we're just going to wait for that to heat up. Okay, right, so now we're going to grab our bread and we're going to dip it into the red sauce. So just make sure. Just make sure that it's fully coated with the sauce. And now we're going to transfer into the oil. 
So we're going to let that cook for two minutes and then we're going to flip it over. All right, so after a couple minutes, we're going to flip our bread over and let that cook for another two minutes. All right, guys, so after a couple minutes, our bread is done. So now we're just going to remove it from the comal. So I'll grab it. That's what it should look like. So now we're going to set it on a plate. And just repeat the process to all of your breads until you have reached the desired amount of pambazos that you're making. All right, guys, and now for the fun part, making our pambazos. So we're just going to remove the top layer of bread. I'm going to add a thin layer of refried beans. And of course, you can fill your pambazos with whatever toppings you like. And on top of that, I'm going to place my lettuce. I'm going to add some crema mexicana. Some queso fresco. My chorizo with papas. Place them in there. I'm going to add some more um, crema mexicana. Some more queso fresco. Alrighty, so grab the top part of your bread and cover it, press it down, and now we're ready to enjoy. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. I am so ready. And if by any chance you guys, your bread is fresh, toast it um, before, before you fry it into the salsa, so like that, the bread is nice and crunchy. Um, of course, you know, if it's fresh, the bread is gonna be soggy, which, I mean, if you don't mind, just eat a fork, eat it with a fork and a knife. But I am ready. Oh, ready for the mess? Mm -hmm. Seriously, it's super delicious. I probably have stuff all over my face now. No? Okay, right, sorry I had to wipe my face, but let me tell you that they are super delicious. The sauce, the chorizo with papas are just perfect. I hope you guys give it a try and enjoy it just as much as I do. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how to make some delicious pambazos. I hope you guys enjoyed your watching this video and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family and if you ever create this recipe, please don't forget to tag me on any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye. Thank you.